Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be sharing what I'm doing to prepare my body for labor and a little bit of a pregnancy update. Um, I'm first going to go into the pregnancy update so you understand why I'm doing these things to prepare for labor and try to get my body to go into labor naturally soon. So the reason that I'm trying to bring on labor naturally is because, as I mentioned in a previous video, I do have elevated blood pressure. It's kind of more of a white coat hypertension. But just to be cautious, they want me to have him by 39 weeks. So if I don't have him naturally by then, they will go ahead and induce me, which I want to avoid. But obviously, if that's what I have to do, then that's what I have to do. But I am going to try and get him out naturally. So this week, I'm 37 weeks, which is so crazy. But then I have two weeks to try to get him out myself or else they'll have to induce me, which I mean I'm fine with. I just would rather do it naturally. So I'm going to share what I'm doing to try to bring that process on. So yesterday I did go to the hospital because I was having the craziest pains ever like on my side. And in the morning when I first woke up I was like, oh it's just like round ligament pain, Braxton Hicks, it's just body's carrying like this big baby so I was just like okay I'm just gonna see if it feels better throughout the day and then it just kept getting worse and it was like to the point where I couldn't even stand up or walk so I was like all right I'm gonna go to I'm gonna call my doctor and see what he says and he said to go to the hospital just to make sure it wasn't anything serious which it wasn't they said that he likes to literally keep his whole body on one side of my body so his whole back and butt are on one side and then the other side there's nothing so it's like pulling on all of those ligaments like on my ligaments right there so that's why I was in so much pain and then they gave me extra strength Tylenol but that didn't really do anything so I just had to kind of go to sleep and then when I woke up in the morning it was a little bit better and now it is a lot better I don't really have any pain there it's just sometimes throughout the day but it's nothing compared to what it was I was like oh my god if this is what labor is like I am getting that epidural like I don't know I was like I'm gonna do this naturally I don't want an epidural I don't want medication but after that pain I was like all right maybe I will get an epidural but I'll see I think it was more because I didn't know what it was so I was like worried I'm like is something wrong like what's going on I, I honestly thought it was like my appendix which I guess didn't really make that much sense but I was just thinking the worst, so I am happy that I went in and got that peace of mind because I would have been up all night worrying. So that's a little update of what's been going on. So in two weeks or less, he's going to be here, which is so crazy. I'm really excited, but I am nervous. So yeah, it's crazy though. It's like two weeks. I feel like you go your whole pregnancy and be like, oh, I have such a long time. Like, you know, it's a while before he gets here. And now it's like, okay, it's two weeks and he can literally come whenever, so... That's crazy. And I am so grateful that I made it to 37 weeks because I've said in the past that my mom had my brother and I early. So I'm so grateful that I was able to make it to, I think it's called pre, preterm or something like that. But it's when your baby, you know, is almost, well, is basically fully developed. So that's exciting and I'm really happy about that. I was nervous that he was going to be premature or something. So I'm happy that... I made it to 37 weeks. So yesterday I had an ultrasound and they said that he's measuring about 6 pounds 11 ounces but that can be off a pound so he could be 5 pounds, he could be 7 pounds. It doesn't really tell, give you an accurate description. It doesn't really give you an accurate weight but I mean that's still pretty good. I'm just happy he's bigger than what I was when I was born. Okay, so one thing that I'm doing that I feel like is really common and that you hear about all the time is I'm drinking red, red, red raspberry leaf tea every single day. I have about two cups of it, and then I also have this labor prep tea. I think it's by the brand Pink Stork. I got it from Amazon. I'll show them the next clip of what they look like and the brands that I use. I drink the red raspberry leaf tea twice a day and then the labor prep tea once a day, so I'm having like three cups of tea but usually I'll just do like I'll mix the red raspberry leaf tea and the labor tea together and then at night I'll have another of the red raspberry leaf tea so I'm not drinking tea all day so that's one thing that I'm doing I think it's supposed to help bring labor on or make your labor shorter and better <laughs> I don't know how accurate they are or if this stuff actually works but I mean I don't think it hurts to try plus you're getting in that extra water the next thing that I'm doing is that I'm having dates every day I have about six dates and I put them into my shake I really cannot stand the taste of dates by themselves 
but you really cannot taste the dates if you mix them in a smoothie with peanut butter and banana and I also like to add a lot of spinach for iron obviously when you give birth you lose a lot of blood so it's important to make sure you're getting enough iron in your diet so I just pack in a bunch of spinach as I can and you can't even taste the spinach and the peanut butter and banana takes away the taste of the spinach and the dates which I love and it's really good and then I also add just a little bit of protein powder to get some protein in and yeah so I have about six dates a day which is also supposed to help I think ripen your cervix or something like that I don't know but I heard it's good for you so I'm consuming that every day with the tea so the things that I'm eating or drinking is basically the tea, dates, and lots of spinach or leafy greens works as well. And then lots of water. Obviously, you want to stay hydrated. Another thing that I've been doing is adding oats into the shakes because that oats are supposed to be really good for breastfeeding and your milk supply. So I read that it's important to, in the last few weeks of pregnancy, is to start introducing oats into your diet to kind of help build up your milk supply and then obviously your milk doesn't come in until you have the baby so I don't know what it does but I'm gonna do it <laughs> but I know after you have the baby you're supposed to have a lot of oats as well to help your milk supply so I'm gonna keep doing that after I have the baby as well um so I'll probably do another video of what I'm eating or drinking to help with the milk supply hopefully I can breastfeed I know there are issues that can happen and you can't breastfeed, but I'm really hoping that I can. So I'm going to do whatever I have to do. I also got this mother's milk tea. I don't know how much that works because it is a tea. I don't know how much teas actually work, but hopefully it does something. So the last thing that I'm doing to prepare my body for labor is walking a lot. I was walking about two to three miles every day until two days ago when I went to the hospital because I've been so scared to like go on a long walk outside and then get that pain again and just be like stranded outside in that pain because when it happens like you literally cannot move like I was like crunched over in so much pain that I'm like traumatized <laughs> that's a little dramatic but I'm so scared to go on a walk and be like a mile away from my house crunched over but I need to start doing it again I'm gonna probably do it when someone's home so if it were to happen I can just call and be like can you pick me up but yeah I need to start walking again it's only been two days that I haven't but walking is also important it's supposed to help induce labor and then it's also supposed to help with labor to keep your stamina up or something like that I don't know either way walking is good for you whether you're pregnant or not I always try to get like 10,000 steps in so even if you're not pregnant you should definitely be walking every day just listen to a podcast and go for a nice long walk so yeah so those are the things that I'm doing to prepare for labor if you have any tips or suggestions on what else I should be doing or what I can do to kind of bring on labor please let me know in the comments down below because I am willing to try anything to help avoid being induced so thank you so much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more